So uh, we're we gonna have a go. Oh, yeah, the water's flat today. We're gonna have a look and see if we get some coffees and some Um So yeah, we're in Makassar. A couple of guys, at least nice and safe. Yeah, let's see what happens. Should be a good one. Have a busy rocket. Cheers. In the Western Cape, during the late summer months and early winter, there's several edible species that can be targeted. First on the list, Khalyun and Kabuya. Okay, so Putaga is first. Uh, Gale of the season, huh? First gale of the season, eh, Buta? Yeah. Lekker, eh? Yeah. Waar heb je hem gevangen? Um, um, Mosel. Lekker stukje wit Mosel, nee. Nice. 31, yeah, 31. Ja. Yeah. A Galyun's diet consists mainly out of small mussels, barnacles, and red bait. This Galyun caught by Buta was caught on white mussel. The Khalyun season is closed in South Africa between the 15th of October until the 28th or 29th of February with a minimum size limit of 35 centimeters and a bag limit of 2 Khalyun per angler per day. The white stump nose are relatively slow growing, long living and endemic fish, making them very susceptible for overfishing. Interesting about a Khalyun is that its colours can vary depending on where they live. For example, when they're living in sandy areas, the colour of a Khalyun can be silver bronze. But living in a rocky area, the Khalyun is almost black. A red bait forms 75% of a Khalyun's diet and it also feeds on red and green seaweed. Khalyun has 79 vertical bars that occurs on each flank. The scales are very firmly attached to fins and are well developed with prominent spines. Next stop for Buta and Rian Rademeyer was Ugalis. Karo Grootoog is also known as a Frans Madame or a Dick Oog. So we're fishing a, a gallas today. Uh, we have a huge southeaster. Uh, 
Uh, limiting us to where we can fish a bit, but yeah. Uh, lots of small fish in the water. Uh, actually looking for a Kalyun, but yeah, it's not happening yet. I'm just using white muscle at the moment. The water's looking alright. Also not too cold, it's looking actually very, very nice. So yeah, we'll probably move around it soon. I've got lots of little coral groot in the water. This beautiful fish is also endemic to South Africa and can be found from the Cape Province all the way to Natal. Okay, now it's it. The Frans Madame or Karel Grootoog is usually found above rocky bottoms or in the vicinity of scattered and flat reefs. A quick cast off the jetty delivered another beautiful species for Buta. Mark eh? Got this little baby little deer. Just look at that beautiful little fish, eh? Oh, look at that, look at that. Welcome to Side the Strand Beach. Oh, we're gonna try lucky off these rocks for some Galjun. Let's catch on, maybe get a coffee, but uh, yeah. Main target's gonna be some Galis. Oh, it's nice conditions, eh? Oh, it's south, where is bit of a swell running. No, let's see. Yeah, quick, uh, just a red bait presentation. Open it up like that. Now you've got a bit of a tough piece there. Got two adrenaline in a circle. And start putting it on the hook. Like that. I like to keep the bottom part, give it a nice fleshy little Happy. Let's take the, the cotton. Part up nice and tightly in the top. So make sure the circle looks nice and proud. Now like just to tie it there so you can be sure it's not gonna fold down or slide down and bunch up the, the shank of the hook. And just softly just catch it there. Tie it off. That's it. So yeah, you can see it's uh, looks are really proud. Nice and soft, so if he takes it, it's gonna come out and look him. Okay, so you fish it after you clip first. I needed to swim out. Oh, the way how you. Come on, man. I can actually see the fish. He's this way around the rock. Ah, oh, the way fish. That's it. Yes, man! Come on, word! Beautiful fish! This Kalyun measured in at 46 centimeters. Another species for Rihanna, Hottentot, also known as a Kapsa Kalyun, Black Bream. Or hot not fish. Oh, I thought it was a bronze bream. Turns out it's a big otty. <laughs> sure.
This spot produced a number of good fish for Rian. Not a lot here. There are two red in circles, five red oils, fresh red bait. Oh, if we don't eat red bait, okay. Sit in back. Hey, good morning, all. Yeah, so uh, look at this behind me. Beautiful, huh? This is Arniston. So we're going to be fishing, uh, Steph and I are going to do a bit of a mission, a uh, scratching mission, see if we can get uh, a couple of bronze bream, something different for a change. Maybe uh, you know, hook up with uh, something special, see if there's a, well, because my spot is as well, uh, maybe muscle crack and that. So uh, game plan is, yeah, it's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a walk from Arneson sign, but uh, uh, just looking at the scenery, it's stunning. Yeah. And safe also. So yeah, let's... Uh, Let's see what we, uh, yeah, uh, how luck will run today. Uh, we got some beautiful chocker from uh, Yakita Bait and Tackle, some blue white mussel as well, and pink prawn, so yeah, some very quality bait. So looking forward to, uh, to see what today's gonna bring. Um, yeah, the, the, main, yeah, the main thing here is when you do this walk, it's, uh, I think it's about a six or seven kilometer walk, and on the high tide, it's a bit of a killer. So I pack it up water. We've made that mistake a couple of times. <laughs> And um, oh yeah, again, it's, it's one of those safer areas and special, special areas. Yeah, so stay tuned, let's see what happens. Uh. Then Rian got picked up and taken to the reef. There's a couple of species known to do this. Oh, oh the lump. Maybe. Oh. The result? A yellow belly rock art. Warmly welcomed by Rian. Perfect, eh? look at that beautiful yellow belly. Yes, like it, huh? This fish was stuck for probably about 10 minutes, huh? It came loose once and then luckily came loose again and yeah, look at the colors on this. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Beautiful hookup. Chock up, big float, so yeah. Look at the teeth, huh? Stunning, huh? Look at this beautiful fish. Beautiful yellow belly. Oh. Look at that stunning, stunning fish. Oh. That's a bus. Beautiful. Are you going to measure this one? Okay, go put it back. As it should. Stunning. Alright, look at this beautiful, beautiful yellow belly rock art. Put this fish in a big chocolate bait with some uh, red bait wrapped around it. Have a stunning look at that. 58 centimeter. Mwah. The tag and release her again. Yeah, let's have a look at that fish. Something we in Cape Town don't really get that often, so it's really special for us. Stunning, stunning fish. I just love the colors on that. Huh? Look at the white tips on the tail there. Sharp spikes there. Look at that. Check if she opens up her, her gills. Look at that. Okay, so I'm going to put her back in the water, tag and release her. Okay, so I'm going to put a tag in this fish. I'm going to keep her in the water. There we go. Beautiful. Look at those colors, huh? Actually. Oh, uh, 
and out. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Nice, oh, sir, baby. Nice, oh, sir. Okay. Now, this fish is in the water the whole time. And that's important, the whole time. So I'm going to remove the hook and I'll put it back again. The ALF, commonly known in KwaZulu Natal as a shad or as a tailor internationally, also came to the party. This is a fast growing fish, a migratory schooling fish, and are widely distributed around the world in both subtropical and warm temperature continental waters. Okay, so we're currently looking for a couple of bellmen. Uh, I'm going to show you the bait, uh, some moonshine worm. Uh, I think you can probably see it's a good shimmer in that worm, like a pearl shimmer. That's why they call it moonshine worm. So yeah, rigged up nicely. Okay, so the water in front of us, really flat. There's a couple of patches of sand kicking up. So they have a little shore break here in the front. Some sand puff, and then a deeper, it's very, very shallow. It's very quiet in the back there. So I'm literally going to lob it like 15 meters just behind the sand pit. So it's pushing tide, so they should start coming in now. Okay, it's so about 20 meters. All right. So you, you want the sand patches, you want it. They'll let you come and feed in the sand here. All right. Right, so the previous cast I've missed a, uh, a full flat. <laughs> so let's see if there's a, if it's still around. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Just behind this little lobby. Yep. Okay, let's see what happens. Let's see, let's see. Oh, that was nice. I've been looking for this fish for a while. That's a bellman. Nice. That name's a tassel fish. Beautiful, look at those markings there. Huh? And now it's got that little tassel underneath there, obviously. That's where the name comes from. You always follow this circle look, huh? Very happy. That's one of the fish I came I came to Anderson for. Oh I love them, huh? Very specific. You see I I'd like a 10 meter cars that and uh, yeah. That's where they feed. Awesome. Right. Rian and Buta managed to catch eight edible species, starting from a Khalyun. A white stump nose, Karel Grootoog, Hottentot, Yellow Belly Rockard, Shad, Bellman, and even a juvenile Garrick. Please remember to subscribe to the ASFN channel and to hit that little bell icon if you would like notifications of when we upload new content. Also, please remember to like the videos, that really helps us.